Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. Now, in today's video, we're going to be learning about how to solve vertical angles. As you can see, we have three important things we need to remember when solving for vertical angles. The first tip is that vertical angles are angles that are formed by two intersecting lines. So that's kind of like the definition. After two lines intersect, the vertical angles will be located diagonally across the point of intersection. So in this example here, we have a red line and we have a purple line. And you can see we have angles A, B, C, and D. The vertical angles will be the angles that are diagonally across from each other. So if you think about like, so if you look at angle A, the angle that is located across from it will be angle C. So those two angles will be vertical angles. And then the same thing goes for angle B and angle D. They will also be vertical angles with each other. So vertical angles are the angles that are formed across the point of intersection between two lines. What's important about vertical angles is that they are always congruent. And what that means is that they will always be equal. Just so congruent is the math word for equal, which takes us to our third tip. And that's to find the measure of a vertical angle. You find the angle that is diagonally across from it and determine its measure. And if you know that angles measure, you know that they will be exactly the same because they are congruent. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and jump down to our first practice problem. This practice problem gives us two lines that have intersect with a point of intersection. It gives us an angle of 40 degrees and an angle of 140 degrees. And then it asks us for what X is. And then it asks us for the measure of Y. So if you're looking at this diagram here, you can look and you can say, well, which we have 40 degrees and we have 140 degrees. Now the vertical angles will be diagonally across the point of intersection. So let's start with 140. So the angle that is across from the point of intersection will be the angle X. So this X here will be the vertical angle with 140. So they go together. Now vertical angles are congruent, which means that if this is 140, its vertical angle X also has to be 140 degrees. So X is going to be 140, which leaves us the angle of 40 and the angle of Y, which is diagonally across from it, which means that they are vertical. So if this is 40, that means Y also has to be 40 degrees. So the solution to this first problem is X is 140 degrees and Y is 40 degrees, and that's because they are vertical angles. Moving on to the second practice problem, this problem also has two lines, but this time we have an angle that's 55 degrees, and we have another angle that's 125 degrees. It asks us again to find the measure of angle X and the measure of angle Y. Let's go ahead and start with 55 degrees. So 55 degrees is going to be a vertical angle with either X or Y. If you look at the point of intersection here, 55 is diagonally across from the angle Y, which means this angle is vertical with 55 degrees, which means it will also be 55 degrees. So the measure of angle Y will be 55 degrees which leaves 125 degrees being the vertical angle with X. So that means X is going to be 125 degrees. And that is our solution for these two angles. Moving on to our last practice problem, which is number three. So again, it gives us two lines that are intersecting, forming vertical angles. It asks us for the measure of angle X and the measure of angle Y. If you look, we know one angle is 50 and we know one angle is 130. So let's start with this angle of 50. This is the point of intersection. So diagonally across from that is going to be the angle X. So this has to be 50 degrees because its vertical angle is 50 degrees. And the same thing for Y, except this time its vertical angle is 130 degrees, which means Y has to be 130 degrees. So the measure of angle X in this case is 50 degrees and the measure of angle Y is 130 degrees. 
And if you want to try some practice problems on vertical angles, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner of this video to do some quick practice questions that will grade themselves and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.